Hey there, Normie Gardner here. Um, some of my followers on Twitter have expressed an interest in um, how I make pickles. So I grow cucumbers in my backyard, and I am going to can them and make them into pickles. I've been doing it for about, this will be my fourth year doing it, and um, this time of year, around July, August, the cucumber vines produce, you know, five or six huge cucumbers a day. If you don't make pickles out of them, you won't know what to do with them. So that's why I started making pickles. And I've refined my technique a bit. So I'm going to go through the whole process today. Um, I'm going to link to the recipe I'm using in the description for this video if you're interested in doing it. Um, so let's have some fun. The quality of the video may not be that good, but, you know, it's better than nothing. So let's, let's get started. So I have to make all these cucumbers into pickles tonight. If I don't, they're just going to rot and be thrown away. So how do I do it? So the first ingredient for making pickles, canned pickles, is to boil a whole bunch of water. Now, this is called a canning pot, and it contains a lot of water. A couple, of, I think like five or six gallons. It takes a long time for it to boil. So when you're making pickles, the first thing you wanna do is just start the water boiling. Um, I got a second jar, a second pot right here. Lots of water boiling there too. It's important to have two of them because we're gonna be canning a lot, moving things in and out, disinfecting, sterilizing, and then canning. So we want to keep the keep the cycle rolling. So I would advise you to get two of these guys. There are three parts of the canning jar: the jar itself, made of very tough glass; the lid, which has a rubber edge to it; and the ring that goes around there. Um, you'll find more about these later as we put them together. For now, just know that this needs to be sterilized. This also needs to be sterilized. Unless, of course, you feel like dying, you want to sterilize both of these. Boil them in water for at least five minutes. That'll kill all the germs inside of it. Okay, so this is called pickling spice. You can find it at any grocery store. Uh, the ingredients are cinnamon, allspice, mustard seed, coriander, bay leaves, ginger, ch ch chilies, cloves, black pepper, cardamom, mace, and sulfite agents. Now. Why am I singling this out? Because I just want to let you know that this, this, the smell of this stuff is basically like you're walking into Santa's workshop. It is the most delicious smell you can ever imagine. Um, so if you get a chance to uh, get some of this stuff, take a sniff of it and just, just for the sheer joy of it. It's very nice. It doesn't smell like pickles, that's for sure. It smells like cinnamon, so like, you know, Christmas, Santa's workshop. Good stuff. Pickling spice. The only thing it's used for is pickling as far as I know. So have fun with this. Uh, Morton all natural canning and pickling salt. Now what the heck is pickling salt? It's salt. That's all it is. It's just, it's just salt. Uh, let me explain. Most uh, most time when you get table salt, um, it has iodine in it. Iodized salt. The iodine is there to keep the salt from clumping when it can, comes in contact with water. Different, the problem with using that kind of salt in pickling or in canning is that the iodine, when it dissolves into water and vinegar, turns this ugly black color and looks really nasty. So so basically this is salt that doesn't have iodine in it, so it's called pickling salt. Other than that, it's exactly the same as ordinary salt. By the way, sorry about that mess over there. I have small children, they think that that, that is that for some reason, and the result is lots of that. All right, so let's move on. So there are two ingredients to pickles. One, of course, is the cucumbers, and the other one, of course, is the pickle juice. So here's how you make pickle juice. Five cups of water. Three cups of white distilled vinegar, just cheap, old-fashioned vinegar. Three-fourths of a cup of sugar, just ordinary sugar. Half a cup of pickling salt. And the aforementioned pickling spice wrapped in cheesecloth. Simmer this for 15, get this to a boil on the stove, then simmer it for 15 minutes, and you will have pickling spice. One other note about this is that you can make different ratios for the vinegar and water mixture. I choose three and five. It has the, that seems to be just right for me. Uh, if you do four and four, of course, it'll be stronger. And if you do, you can make them super strong pickles, or you can make sweeter pickles depending on the ratio of water and vinegar. Okay, 
So now my pickle juice is going, it's boiling now. Now this is vinegar and water. It doesn't boil like a rolling boil like water does. It, there's steam coming from it. That's, and bubbling. It's, so it's boiling now. So we're gonna bring this down to a simmer, let it simmer for 15 minutes, and then it'll be ready for pickling. All right, so let's talk about pickles a little bit, about cucumber. So there's really two kinds of cucumber shapes. This is like normal traditional shape. And then there's these big fat weirdos that ha this happens sometimes. So these ones are gonna cut into spears. These ones are gonna cut into chips. You know, and you know what these shapes are. That's a spear and a chip is just, you know, like this, what you put on a sandwich. So cucumbers grow from a flower. And the flower end, um, let's see if I can find the stem, as you can see, is something like this. So this came off, the flower end is, it starts with the flower and then the fruit grows off of it. Why am I telling you this? Because the end that the flower comes, that the flower was growing on, there's an enzyme in the edge here that makes pickles mushy. So the first thing I want to do is cut off that end at every time. Now in my case, I'm going to cut off both ends, like so, and then I'm going to cut this into spears. And um, I'm going to fill that bowl up and uh, then we'll be have some cucumbers ready for pickling. Also, you notice that these are very small pickles. They're not like big, huge cucumbers like you would see in a salad. They are pickle cucumbers. I, I picked them at a certain time, so they're very small and easy to pickle. Smaller is better for pickles. Huge pickles are not as good. So keep that in mind as well. Okay, I've cut up a lot of pickles while I'm waiting for my uh, pickle juice to be ready, but I thought I'd show you at least one of you guys, one of the pickles, um, so we can um, take a closer look at some of the tricks we do. So, I have a mason jar here for measurement. You see this pickle is bigger than the mason jar. So guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna cut off the excess parts. I well, can't do that with one hand. So, uh, now, it's, now it's better. All right. Next, we're gonna cut it in half, right down the middle. Sorry you couldn't see that, but again, you have to do it with two hands. Then you cut it in quarters, and so on and so forth, so you slice it down to about that size, you know, size of a, of a pickle. Okay, so now we have our water boiling, our pickle juice has been made, and by the way, guys, if, this, if you were seeing me do this in real life, this the air conditioner would be on, there'd be like uh, lots of roaring. I turned it all off to do these videos. Uh, otherwise you wouldn't hear me all hear a thing. So we got boiling hot water here. Now we need to sterilize these mason jars. So, simple salad tongs. Put it in there. Now you be very careful doing this. Hopefully I won't go to the hospital doing this right now. You let it spill up all the way, put it in. Five minutes in there, it'll be sterilized. That's how you sterilize a jar. While we're waiting for our jar to sterilize, let's take a look at what they, what's gonna go in them. So, first we got the spears, okay? Then we have our pickle juice. By the way, this can be used to make another batch of pickle juice. You don't need to make another uh, one of those things. <laughs> you can do it, use it twice, doesn't matter. Then we have the extra stuff. First we have the dill heads. Of course, you know, if you're making dill pickles, you've been growing dill in your backyard and you've gotten these little dill heads, which is the, the flower of a dill plant, which is little dill seeds inside of them. And you're gonna put one of these in each one. What, you don't have dill heads in your backyard? Oh, well, then you're, you're screwed. Oh, well, you can just use dill seeds if you don't wanna, if you wanna be like, you know, a normie, not have dill heads, but those they are, dill heads. Clove of peeled garlic, uh, clove of garlic. And finally, this is my secret ingredient. I didn't do this the first year I made pickles, then I discovered this is better, pickle crisp. Calcium chloride. Without this stuff, these pickles will get mushy. You'll 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 finish the pickles. You'll hand them to your friends and they'll say, "This tastes great, but it's it's so mushy. Can you make them not mushy?" There's only two ways of making a pickle not mushy. One of them is to cut them really really tiny tiny small pickles like this size, the size of your pinky finger. The other way is to put one eighth of a teaspoon of this stuff, calcium chloride, into each mason jar. Pickle crisp. This cost me like 10 bucks, got it on Amazon, ordered it, it'll last me probably the rest of my life. <laughs> um, so use this, definitely use this. Dill heads if possible, not dill seeds. And garlic, those are the three ingredients for pickles besides of course, the pickle juice and the cucumbers. It's been five minutes, uh, so now I'm gonna take the mason jars out. Again, this is very dangerous. Of all the things that we're doing today, this is the most dangerous thing. So you just gonna be very careful. Take it, grab it. 
gently pour it out. If, uh, you know, it's, it's boiling hot water, obviously. And there we have a sterilized jar. Go ahead and put it on here, and we'll get started with the pickling. Okay, so now we have our sterilized jars, six of them. So first we hit close, six cloves of duck garlic. Unless I'm not touching it, it's still very hot. Then we have six dill heads, just toss them in there. I think I have six here. Five, six. And finally, um, we have an eighth of it, six uh, scoopings of calcium chloride, making the pickles crisp. And I will put in one just to show what it looks like. <laughs> we uh, next thing we're gonna do is put in the pickles themselves. Now, this next part is all about how you cut your spears. If you cut them right, so they're exactly the length of the, the of the quart. And all I gotta do is put it outside, I know there's a towel here because it's still very hot, and shove it full of these spears. That's basically the easiest way of stuffing a pickle jar. Okay, so I filled all the jars up with pickles. I packed them really tight, just to give you an idea of how much um, pickles are able to fit in here. That uh, bowl that was full to the brim of uh, cut up pickles was not enough to fill these up. I had to stop and cut some more cucumbers up to get them done. Um, some of the pickles were a little bit small, so I need to cut some pickle chips to fill in the spaces. Now we're just gonna spoon in pickle juice. Now, you can get a lot of use out of the pickle juice as long as you pack the pickles really tight. So, we just have a ladle here, just an ordinary soup ladle. And, um, you know, pretty obvious what I'm gonna do is pour it in here. It smells like really good, by the way. This pickle juice is it's really pleasant to do. Making pickles is a lot of work, it's hot but one that does make delicious things. You do have some delicious smells coming to make these pickle juice. And we're gonna keep on doing this until they're all done. Okay, well, I've got them all filled up. I just had enough pickle juice. I'm totally, totally out. Now we have to put the lids on. Now, before I've done this, I've wiped them off the edges. It's very important there's no, uh, there's no debris of any kind around the seal here. And then uh, we have our lids. So here we are. I have this little magnet thing. It comes with a canning kit. But if you don't have that, you can use something else, of course. These have been sterilized, just like the other things have been sterilized. I have those going again to get ready for the canning part. Let's go over here. Just kind of like put them on there. And so on and so, so on and so forth. And that's how you put the lids on. Then we're gonna screw on the uh, well I might as well show you the rest. Screw on this. And now it's ready to be put into the canning part. All right, to actually do any kind of canning, you're gonna need a specialized tool. It's called a jar, jar holder. Um, and it looks like this. There's really no replacement tool you can get for this. If you don't have this, you can't do canning. Uh, what this does is lifts up jars, like so. And I'd recommend getting a spring-loaded one like this because then you can do it with one hand, it's very simple. In order to can, you gotta put this jar, can, this full jar full of liquid, has to have liquid in it, inside of a canning jar for five minutes and, uh, and boil it for five minutes. So we're gonna do that right now. So I got my jar secure and here we are. It has to be like a, uh, an inch above it for it to work properly. Now, as we put more jars in here, this is gonna get really high. The water's gonna get really high because there's no more water inside the jar, so the water's gonna get displaced and get really high. So I'm gonna dump the excess water into my other pot. Another reason it has two pots going. Um, and there has to be an inch of water above this thing for the canning thing to work. A brief explanation of how canning works. The pickles, this is the water. This is the empty space between the water and the lid, which is got a rubber things on it. What's happening now in the canning process is that this water is boiling, it's hanging, and it's heating up, and it's turning to steam, and the steam is, has nowhere to go, but it forces its way out of there. And the bubbles pop up, and then the jar goes down. What this creates, of course, is a vacuum in this part right here. That's why we have to leave a little space here. 
The vacuum, of course, means that the air pressure from the outside will push down and keep it vacuum sealed for months and months. Okay, so it's been five minutes. Grab our jars with our hollow again, take them out. Now, there's a, they should be vacuum sealed or they will be soon. What will happen is that this little pop, it's already, this one's already down, but uh, as the jar cools down, it'll, it'll snap into place. And you can tell if a jar has been properly vacuum sealed, if that, if that's, if that thing pops up or down. Uh, anyone who's ever opened up one of these things knows what I'm talking about. There's like a vacuum seal to these. But that's how you know it's been vacuum sealed. And if it isn't vacuum sealed, no problem. Just put it in the fridge, eat those ones within two weeks and you'll be fine. If it is vacuum sealed, then you can safely put it in a cupboard somewhere and you can keep it there for up to 18 months. So, there we go. Pickles are done, for now anyway. Now last year I, I um, pickled a lot of pickles and they lasted all throughout the whole year and this is actually the last jar of the pickles I did last year. So this is a year old jar. And um, one, well, this, this is the last pickle from last year, pretty much. There's the dill head, you see? And here's the pickle and it looks firm, crisp, delicious. Pickle uh, canning actually works and um, yeah, it's not that difficult. Give it a try.